remove this center cap, use a 22 millimeter socket and take these little caps off. Just do it gently so you don't break them. Take that off. Now use the same socket, take the lug nuts off. Remove the wheel. Now remove the caliper using 18 millimeter socket. Remove these two bolts. Now slide the caliper off. If you need to use a screwdriver, just pry it out. You can always compress the piston a little bit. It's easier to come off. Slide that off. Use a caliper hanger and just find a place to hang it from so that there's no tension on the brake hose. Take the brake pads off, just slide them out. Take these two caliper bracket bolts out. Use a 21 millimeter socket. and slide the caliper bracket back and off the rotor. Now we'll take the rotor off. You can slide it right off. If it's stuck on there, you can take a hammer and just hammer in between where the studs are and just be careful not to hit the studs. And just slide it off. Take a wire brush and clean up any of this rust all around the hub. And on the inside the best you can. Take some anti-seize and just put a nice thin coat on the hub. Just where the rotor is gonna meet the surface. That's good. Take the rotor first, put the rotor on backwards. Take some brake parts cleaner. Clean the back side of the rotor. Use a rag, wipe it off. Now flip the rotor around. And do the same on the front side. To make it a little easier when installing, you can take one of the lug nuts and just put it on backwards. That way the rotor's not flopping all around. So that's good. Now we're gonna clean up the brake caliper bracket. Just take a straight blade screwdriver. Just get underneath this pad slide. Take a wire brush, clean up some of this rust. If it's really bad, you can use a die grinder. Just be careful. Don't take off too much material. Then when that's cleaned up, just take some brake caliper grease and a nice thin coat. Find the right brake caliper pad slide and slide it in position. Put another thin coat of caliper grease where the pads are gonna touch. And then do the same on the other side. Now we're gonna clean up these brake caliper bolts or slide pins. Use some brake, brake parts cleaner and just wipe them off. Take some brake caliper grease. That's good, do the same on the other one. And if these pins were really corroded fairly badly, you're gonna to wanna to clean out the bore of the caliper bracket where that pin went. So take some brake, brake parts cleaner clean down here, you might want to use a wire brush as well. Just clean that out. Slide the brake caliper bracket in position. Take the bolts. If you'd like, put some thread lock adhesive on these bolts.
Now torque these bolts to 221 foot-pounds. Take the brake pads, the one with the squealers or the brake warning indicators is going to go on the outside, the one with both. Just slide that in position. And the one with only one is going to go on the bottom on the inside. We're going to compress the caliper, use one of the old brake pads and then use a special tool to compress the caliper. As you push the pistons back into the caliper, it's pushing the brake fluid through the hoses, through the brake lines, and back up into the master cylinder reservoir. So go just nice and slow. Don't do this fast. And it's all the way down. Remove the tool, remove the brake pad. Take the caliper. Make sure the hose is not twisted and slide it over the brake pads. Take the brake caliper bolts and line them up. Get them started. Torque these bolts to 80 foot pounds. At this point, you can take this lug nut off and put the wheel back on. Put the lug nuts on. Torque these lug nuts to 140 foot-pounds in a cross pattern so that you tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. Put the cap back on, take a socket and do this by hand. You don't want to strip these out, just tighten them down. <laughs> 